we want to evaluate each of the log expressions. By doing this, we're going to illustrate one of the common properties of logarithms. So to evaluate natural log e raised to the power of negative 3, we're going to make this into an equation by setting it equal to x. So now we have a log equation. And now to determine the value of x, we're going to write this as an exponential equation. And since we have natural log, we know this is log base e. So in exponential form, the base would be e, the exponent would be x, and the number would be e raised to the power of negative 3. So e to the power of x must equal e to the power of negative 3. Notice as an exponential equation, the bases are the same and they're equal, so x must equal negative 3. Let's take a look at another one. Again, we have natural log e raised to the power of square root of 5. So we'll make this an equation by setting it equal to x and then write this log equation as an exponential equation. So because we have natural log, again, the base is e. So as an exponential equation, we would have e raised to the power of x must equal e raised to the power of square root of 5. So e to the x must equal e to the power of square root of 5. Again, in this form, hopefully we can see that these are equal to each other. The bases are the same, so the exponents must be equal. Therefore, x is equal to the square root of 5. So we should be recognizing a pattern here. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example before we state the rule. Now here we have a common log of 10 raised to the power of 1.2. This is common log, so therefore the base is 10. Let's set it equal to x to form an equation. Then we'll write this in exponential form. So our base is 10. The exponent is x. And the number is 10 raised to the power of 1.2. So 10 to the x is equal to 10 to the power of 1.2. Again, the bases are the same, and these are equal. Therefore, the exponents are equal. So x is equal to 1.2. So if we go back and take a look at these, notice how this just simplified to the exponent 1.2, this just simplified to the square root of 5, and this just simplified to the exponent of negative 3. So what's happening here is when we have a log where the base of the log is the same as the base of the number part of the log, it will always simplify to just the exponent on the number part of the log. So in general, if we have log base b of b, and this b is raised to the power of x, it will always simplify to just the exponent x. So looking at our last example, if we move this e to the fourth up into the numerator, it's going to change the sign of the exponent. So we can write this as natural log e raised to the power of negative 4. And in this form, since it's natural log with base e, the number part also has base e. We can now take the shortcut, and this will just simplify to the exponent of negative 4. So hopefully these examples help illustrate where this property comes from. Once we understand the property, we can go ahead and take advantage of this shortcut.